What's up, everyone? Today, I'm on a bit of a time crunch, so we're going to make this quick. Just a little knowledge nugget for you. But it's a linear pattern, and it goes right, left, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick. Eight strokes long all together. Right, left, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick. You could think of it as two beats of 16th notes or one beat of 32nd notes. And it's just a great little pattern that's made up of two smaller patterns that you might already actually use in your playing. I typically accent that first right hand stroke as well as the right left toward the latter part of the pattern. I feel this one has more shape and dimension compared to just right, left, left, kick, right, left, left, kick over and over or kick, right, left, kick, kick, right, left, kick over and over just breaks it up a bit, keeps things interesting. To get it started, play as slowly as you need to in order to keep everything nice and even and start between just the kick and snare like this. When you got the pattern down, you could begin orchestrating it around the drums a bit. I'll transcribe a bunch of different orchestrations that I think sound pretty good and feel pretty good, but ultimately you'll get the most out of this pattern by just exploring on your own using good old fashioned trial and error. Generally, I'll keep those left hand double strokes on only the snare drum or closed hi-hats since those surfaces are very, very articulate. It helps us retain clarity at higher speeds. But again, explore some of your own orchestrations. Maybe you find that you really like orchestrating some of those double strokes on like a tom-tom or something. That's totally fine. Do your own thing. A few days ago, I stumbled across an orchestration that essentially allowed me to turn this pattern into a sort of Zach Hill type groove. So it's floor tom, hats, hats, kick, kick, hats, floor tom, kick. So crossing over, right over left. And the second time through the pattern, I moved the first right hand stroke to the snare drum, which functions as the backbeat. So we have snare, hats, hats, kick, kick, hats, floor tom, kick. And then just repeat that over and over and you get a wonky, noisy groove by some stretch of the definition.
And that's one I'm sure you'll bust out every single wedding gig or any cover gig or anything. It's totally appropriate to do all the time in any context. All your bandmates will be like, yes, that's the truth right there. Don't do anything except for that. So this has been a little knowledge nugget, and just like with everything else I cover, start as slowly as you need to in order to keep things very clean and even. You want to always prioritize precision over speed. Speed will happen naturally with time. Just go slow, be clean with it, and then the speed will find you eventually. If you like what you saw in this video, check out my Patreon page. Your support grants you access to transcriptions for this video, as well as transcriptions for all my other lesson videos. And follow me on Instagram, at DrumMerhar, to see more videos of my playing. I also teach private lessons both in person and remotely, so if you'd like to study with me one-on-one, -on -one, send me a message and we'll get something set up. As always, thanks for watching and see you next time.